Hedge Sparrow by Susan Gordon, Short Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named Hedge Sparrow by Susan Gordon, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. We have all had a difficult time this summer. There have been problems at the bird bath, and the young hedge sparrows barge in and completely ignore the queuing system. Sponges and bath salts, shower caps and towels are just scattered everywhere after they have been there. The young sparrows are noisy and stay out late. Some can't even make it for dawn chorus. It makes our blood boil to see such bad manners. Even our feeding has been disturbed as these young scoundrels can't wait. They gobble it up and even the fat balls and coconut pudding are consumed. It was a very sad day on Saturday when a skyhawk flew over the garden. The skyhawk lookout, known as the captain, failed in his duties. It seems that he was looking for berries in the shrubbery and had taken his eye off the swirling sparrow hawk. The hawk grabbed him and took him away. Poor soul. Missing in action, we told the heartbroken parents and had a two-minute silence following a red sparrow's fly past. Each month, senior hedge sparrows meet to discuss matters. On top of the agenda was the problem with the youngsters. They were starting to be beyond their parents' control. It was decided that national service must be brought back to try to get them to sharpen up. We call this tough love. National service is very strict. Up before dawn for full inspection. Shiny beaks and smooth and clean feathers. Plenty of exercise, cleaning the bird bath providing fresh towels and flannel, bubble bath and moisturizers to the ready. Roosts and nests are inspected each day and high standards are enforced. Cadets are told to stand in front of their homes while the inspection is carried out by a high-ranking sergeant major. The soldier cadets also have to collect berries and seed heads. Their voices must be tuned so as to join the dawn chorus choir and looking out for sparrowhawks to guard against danger. Sparrowhawk watch is really an art. We have lost a few cadets in the past, but they were given full credit for their heroism. Sparrowhawk alerts and warning songs are so important to save lives. The community's reaction to the bringing back of national service was mixed. Some mothers became anxious and tried to hide their children in the shrub. After we calmed things down, the cadets were gathered up and taken for training. The change in our cadet force within six weeks has been astounding. The bird bath and bird table are gleaming each day. The cadets help their seniors to have first tastes of the fat balls and the mealworms. A steady cue for drinking water in baths is maintained. The elders have an extra serving of coconut pudding, which always goes down a treat. The dawn chorus has become so popular with the cadet. They have formed a choir, and sopranos have been fine, too. The nights are peaceful now, as the cadets are too tired to gad about. They never neglect their duties and have become a credit to our society. The Sparrowhawk Emergency Brigade is exceptional, and we have had only one loss last week. Sparrowhawk spotters have to attend classes and workshops and study very hard to pass the exam. Saving lives is, of course, a priority, and lookouts are vital. Hawk spotters usually volunteer but we haven't filled the captain's vacancy yet. I don't know why. I think that the captain was lost in action. So sad. 
The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.